your cello friends. We are going to work on some open string warm ups and review. First things first, check your posture. Make sure you're sitting up oops, nice and tall in your chair. Scooch forward. Make sure your legs are wide. Okay. The back corner of the cello is what rests just against the inside of your knee. The cello shouldn't be sinking all the way into yourself like that. Okay. This top part of the cello's body is what rests against your sternum. Okay, and you want the C peg just behind your ear, almost kind of against the back of your head. <clears throat> the cello should be going as much down the center of your body as possible, obviously without you know, your head being in the way. Okay, check your bow hold, bent thumb on the side of the stick, fingers wrapped around on the frog. Okay, metal, uh, your second finger is touching the metal ferrule. Third finger wrapped on the frog, pinky kind of up by the side of the, um, the eye, the dot there. Pointer finger out in front. Set your bow on the D string. Make sure you've got good arm weight going into the bow. We don't want our elbow up high. We don't want it down low. Okay. And we open out to the side. We're going to do our Mississippi stop stops on the D string. Ready? And play with me. <laughs> you do when you set your bow on the string make sure you're setting it at the first tape which is like the balance point of your bow we'll talk about that another time and you want to be directly between the bridge and the end of the fingerboard okay so let's do that again open D Mississippi stop stop make sure that elbow is working ready go <laughs> Strong contact, feel heavy in the bow. Press that stick down just a little bit with the pointer finger. Feel the weight coming through your arm all the way into that finger, pressing into the string. Ready and play with me. <laughs> just the right amount is and it'll get us that good sound. And if I release, you'll hear the cello ringing. That's how you know you're getting that good sound. Okay? Now we're going to practice going between our D string and our A string. The reason we're doing this is so that we can work on changing our pressure on the strings. A string is a little less pressure, D string is a little bit more pressure, okay? Um, we need to work on balancing going between the A and the D strings. So we're gonna go D, then A, then D, then A, and we're gonna do that a couple times, okay? Ready and play with me. <laughs> string I just rocked it over okay we just rock the bow between the strings let's do that again D to A Mississippi stop stop ready and here we go <laughs> So you're all 
always making sure that your bow hold looks good, your arm is working right, your elbows opening and closing, wrist goes up, wrist goes down. I'll roll my sleeve up so you can see that. Okay, now we're gonna take it to just quarter notes. Okay, in groups of four, like that. And this time we're gonna do I play, you play, just like we do in class. I play four beats and then you immediately repeat it after me. And then I play a new four beats, you immediately repeat it back, okay? I'm going to turn my drums on for this one. Okay, here we go. I play and you play. Ready? Bow on the string. Always keep your bow on the string. One, two, here I go. string warm-up, you guys. Good job.